All right, so here we are at number four, and the directions are to find the slope. So we're going to be doing a similar operation to what we did in number three, except now instead of being given two points explicitly and plugging those two points into the formula, uh, the slope formula, now we've been given a graph and we have to derive the points ourselves before we can plug in uh, plug those points into the formula. So what you want to do is take a look at your graph here and you want to look for points that your line uh, explicitly goes through. And so, for example, if you take a look at the graph here, we can see that our line uh, perfectly passes through this point, the x-axis. So this is negative 5, 0. Versus, let's see, how about, how about this point here? See how the point passes through some number between negative 2 and negative 3? Who knows what this value of y is? And so that would be a really bad choice in choosing a point to determine what the slope is because we're not a computer and we can't tell definitively with any you know amount of uh, accuracy where this is going through so we want to look for points that our line perfectly passes through and fortunately this line passes perfectly through the x-axis so at negative five zero and the y-axis at zero negative four you don't have to choose those points. We can choose other points, but these are probably the safest bets. All right, so we have negative five, zero, and zero, negative four. So now what we're going to do that we have two points is let's go ahead and label. So x1, y1, x2, y2. And we're going to use the same formula that we used in, uh, in question number three. So we're going to have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's go ahead and plug in our points and see what we get. So m equals y2. Well, what's y2? y2 is a negative 4 minus y1. Well, what's y1? Just 0. Over x2. Well, what's x2? Just 0 minus x1, well what's x1? Negative 5. So here we have negative 4 minus 0 over 0 minus a negative 5. So when we distribute that negative through we get a plus 5, don't we? So 0 plus 5. And now finally here we have negative 4 minus 0, well that's just negative 4 over 0 plus 5, well that's just 5. And so our slope is negative 4 over 5. Now for this question here, your answer key is actually incorrect. So if you have a copy of the practice test with an answer key, and hopefully you all do, uh, if you take a look at number 4, your answer is incorrect. Uh, the answer key, uh, I, I don't actually know, I have an updated answer key, but I know that the original one that, that went out to some students has the wrong answer. So you want to have negative 4 over 5 as your answer for number 4. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number 5.